Hey everyone, welcome back to Cut Entertainment. I'm your host Leo and today we're going to be taking a look at Baldur's Gate 3. Now, full disclosure, I've spent around 800 hours on this game. But it's been a while since I last played, so I'm coming at it with fresh eyes. Before we get started, do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our daily uploads. It's the best way to support us and keep the content coming. Alright, with that out of the way, let's dive in. First things first, Baldur's Gate 3 is a Dungeons & Dragons game at its core. Larian Studios used the 5th edition D&D rules as the backbone for this epic. If you're familiar with rolling for initiative, using spell slots, and making tough choices, you're going to feel right at home. But unless you're playing in multiplayer, you're not just playing your character, you're running the entire party. This adds a layer of depth and strategy that's a game changer. So for this playthrough, I went with the Barbarian class. I really wanted to test out that brawn over brains character trope. The character creation is detailed enough to let you customize, but it's not quite as deep as some other games when it comes to tweaking every little feature. Although if you aren't satisfied, Larian has added a modding menu that can allow you for full customization. One of the best parts of Baldur's Gate 3 is how it handles dialogue. It's not just filler or background noise, every conversation can shift how the game plays out. Your choices affect how characters see you, whether they trust you, fear you, or want to stab you in the back. Playing as a barbarian, I leaned into those blunt, forceful responses. It was fun seeing my character brute forcing his way through most situations. Let's talk about those skill checks. When you see the dice roll animation pop up during a conversation, the tension is real. Whether you're trying to intimidate, charm, or pull off a wild bluff, every roll has consequences. Passing a check feels like nailing a clutch roll in a real D&D game, and failing, well, that's when things get interesting. Now, the combat. If you're a fan of turn-based strategy, you're in for a treat. Combat in Baldur's Gate 3 stays true to its D&D roots, with movement measured in feet, the use of actions and bonus actions, and limited spell slots. But in this game, you're in charge of your whole party. It's like running your own mini D&D campaign where you decide how the team works together. As a barbarian, I really enjoyed being able to charge into battle and deal damage while my team backed me up with spells and range attacks. Granted, that's if I roll high enough for initiative. The combat is more than just clicking attacks and spells, it's about making the right moves, using the terrain, and adapting when things don't go according to plan. Every battle feels like a puzzle you're piecing together in real time. You might start out thinking, okay, this is pretty straightforward, and then suddenly you're using a high ground and figuring out how to keep your squishy mage alive. The party control makes all this even better because you can plan combos and really get creative with your strategy. So, whether you're a seasoned D&D fan or just looking for a deep RPG to sink your teeth into, Baldur's Gate 3 brings that tabletop magic to your screen. It's the full D&D experience but with all the visuals and mechanics that make it feel bigger and more immersive. From the dialogue to the combat, it's clear why this game is still amazing even though it's been out for a while. Overall, I give it a 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. Now if you've made it this far into the video, thanks for watching. If you've played the game, let me know what class you picked and how you're finding the game so far in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for more from Entertainment. Until next time, stay awesome. I saved you. And I'm here to save you again. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. The Absolute? is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Blackith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. I'll enjoy watching you try. In mere moments, all that you have dreaded will come to pass. When the screaming stops and your mind is gone, the rest, perhaps, 